absolutely beautiful. This is a great, this is an example of a glorious title, by the way, because now we have a dog in the fight. Now I want to read this, understand it, and disprove Lane. By the way, this is a sponsored read. I want you to know that. Use code Primogen or the Primogen to get 15% off. The reason why I like boot.dev is that they have an amazing uh, backend learning. Anyone that's in chat that have used them has said specifically that boot.dev is really, really good. That's why I've continued to work with him. Uh, he is fantastic, and I really do appreciate him. So, hey, hashtag add a little bit. But I really like his articles. I have not read this yet. I've been told it's a pretty good argument with some – or a pretty good article with some pretty hot takes in there, okay? That sounds like a tweet from you. It is. It does sound like a tweet from me. That's why I like this, okay? All right, so let's do this. One of the marks of a good senior developer is that they have lots of interesting opinions. <laughs> Let's go. I'm interesting. I am interesting. Uh, after years of working on different software projects, they'll be able to passionately explain why they think MongoDB is ass. Pair programming is no fun, and GitHub CLI changed their workflow. <laughs> okay. I, this does feel a bit targeted, okay? This does feel a bit targeted, and I feel a little called out right now. I agree with all these points. Uh, I have anecdotally found two things to be true. Senior developers without opinions tend not to be very good. Oh, I love that take. Because you should have opinions, right? If you've been doing something for five years, you should have an opinion. I really don't like uh, the pragmatist, right? Uh, the pragmatist is always like, well, you know, it just depends. Really, pragmatism is an excuse for laziness. Pragmatism is often an excuse like, I'm just not going to do any actually strong research. I'm not going to have any real opinion. I don't want to actually have to fight anybody. I don't want to actually have to have uh, a real stance that may or may not get people upset. Like, it's okay to have stances that are different than other people. Like, you just got to be able to hear other people's opinions and consider them, right? You just have to. I really do think good, like you, I, I really do think you should have opinions by the time you've been doing programming for five years. If, if you don't have an opinion after five years, you should ask yourself, what the hell's going on? How do I not have an opinion after this long? Right? It's crazy. Had a, a Mongo issue yesterday. Query took one minute for a <laughs> sort. Yep. Welcome to Mongo. Every time I meet someone that is from Mongo, they always say that Mongo can be much faster. Every time I meet someone that's using Mongo in production, they always think Mongo is too slow. It's beautiful. It's like this beautiful irony. It is, it, is, it is just like communism, agile, and everything. Mongo, you're just not doing it right, okay? You're just not doing it right. If you just simply did it right, Scotsman, you'd be a real Scotsman. It's just like it always seems to fall under that. Um, junior developers with many opinions tend not to get good quickly and are annoying AF. Ooh, ooh, I love it. Oh, this is a great one. Um, I totally agree because as a junior, you don't even know what's good. You literally have never tried anything or have very little experience. So stop having so many opinions that your one thing that you've ever done is great. The amount of, the amount of hate I get is always from people that have been programming for a little bit of time. And it's always like they've seen one technology and whatever their soup du jour starting technology is, which is almost always React, they will go, you're wrong. You're wrong. You don't even know about DX. You don't even know about the DX. And you're just like, okay, D give me your DX, boy. <laughs> Let the gatekeeping begin. <laughs> yes! Uh, as a new developer, it's smart to consume developer content. However, when you listen to Prime, okay, call me out, Dax, Theo, or myself, give opinions. You need to remember that our opinions are not yours. Perfect. That is a perfect way to state it. Theo often makes me think if my opinions are correct or not correct. I actually really like what he has to say. Okay, even though I disagree with a huge percentage of what Theo has to say, the reality is, is that Theo has come to his conclusions for real reasons, and he builds real products, so you should consider it, right? Same with Dax. Dax has built a lot of good stuff. You should think about what Dax has to say, even if it hurts you emotionally. I think this. You think this? Use HTMX. Use HTMX? I think this. <laughs> Let's go. HTMX mentioned. Hashtag. Hashtag that. Uh, don't misunderstand me. I publish my opinions to convince you to join my cult. Go is based. But taking my word at face value does a disservice to yourself. If you simply regurgitate another developer's opinion, not only will you stunt your learning, but it will look bad in interviews and on the job. It's obvious when your opinions haven't been forged in the fires of your own experience. That is real true. On an interview, when I ask somebody, and tr like if someone says, oh, I really like X, and you're like, ah, tell me about X. And they can virtually not tell you about X. 
Like it shows a real weakness in how they think. This is a very, very, very awesome uh, observation. Please take this to heart. Take it. Hyper opinionated junior versus unopinionated uh, senior. I think they're both not great. Uh, context specific opinions. There are many kinds of developers out there front end, back end, mobile, embedded, etc. Yeah, you know, often we're always arguing between these two points and we rarely think about these points, right? All of our opinions about TypeScript, Go, and all this completely fall short in the embedded world. They're like, what the hell are you talking about? You mean C? Are you saying C? You keep saying Go. What the hell? What the hell is this easy C you keep talking about? I can't use that, right? We don't just discriminate uh, on tech stack. There are also many kind of companies, venture back startups, indie hackers, established tech incumbents, uh, non-tech companies with internal software, consultancies, et cetera. No matter what advice you're hearing about technology, you need to remember that the speaker comes from a specific background. Opposing hot takes coming from people with different backgrounds can both be, uh, can both be great takes. Yeah, that's actually a fair statement. That's a fair statement. If your world was built and embedded and someone says TypeScript is great and you don't think it's great, well, I think TypeScript, I mean, if you're going to program JavaScript, I think TypeScript's a great choice. I'm starting to love JS Doc, though, but I'm just saying TypeScript's a great choice. So they can both be correct, right? Uh, do you need to scale computing power across a cluster of machines? Kubernetes good. Are you building a, per, uh, a personal site for uh, your dog? Kubernetes bad. I work mostly on back-end HTTP servers in Go, and I think debuggers are a waste of time. The state of the program is easier to uh, produce or reproduce. John Carmack does a lot with game engines and love debuggers. The state of the program is hard to uh, reproduce. That is a great, great take right there. Love that. Theo works on a startup where product requirements are constantly in flux and performance isn't a number one problem. He likes TypeScript. The Prime Gen, that's me, works at Netflix, by the way, and works on performance issues where product uh, direction is relatively static. He likes Rust. I do like Rust. I don't get to use Rust for all the fun stuff, though. I really want to do Rust more stuff. And by the way, I think it's probably uh, better to state that I don't work on performance issues. I'm a glue engineer. I do all the things. I get thrown on projects, and then I have to come up, and I, I, my goal is to help projects. That's it. I'm a, I try to be a helper. I'm a healthy helper ten. I've had to work on performance a lot of times, but I do. But that wouldn't uh, performance wouldn't be my primary role. It would be more glue engineering, right? Um, and so I, I prefer to be the the glue the, glue, the glue engineer. Anyways, I think it's more fun. You get a lot. You get to you get to do a lot more. Uh, you get to do a lot more programming. You get to do a you get to do a lot less meetings, and you come in at usually a pretty good time, which is still greenfield, right? Now, the best opinions uh, tend to carry the infamous, it depends, as you keep digging for exactly this reason. However, if you are a zitter enjoyer like myself, you need to appreciate the context is never contained in the tweet. I never do it depends in a tweet because that's stupid to do. You only begin to understand the context surrounding a hot take once you're familiar with the author. The point, if you're new to coding, understand that this stuff is nuanced, but adding nuance to titles, thumbnails, and tweets never gets clicks. Absolutely, you can't. You actually can't. And people, I like, there's this whole notion that, oh, you should never do clickbait. The problem about that whole notion is that whatever you're talking about, then no one's ever going to read, right? You're not qualified to talk about TDD. Notice that we haven't even talked about TDD yet. This is displaying the emotion. Like, I didn't realize that this wasn't about TDD, or at least currently it hasn't been about TDD. I have not read this yet. And so when I read this, I realize that this is something to get me. Like, this is about the heart of the issue. You know what I mean? It's about the heart of the issue, which is great. It's actually a really good title. In fact, I like it even more. Okay, now we're talking about TDD. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> shit. Maybe I read this a little too soon, but uh, I really like it. I'm fine with clickbait. What I don't like is scam bait. Scam bait is where somebody says something and then doesn't do anything about it. You know what I mean? Like, that's scam baiting. And I don't like that. Like, I want something that actually gives me the meat and gives it to me raw, but I want a good title, something that engages the way I think. And this is a great way to uh, engage it. It's not pre-read, okay? All right. Test-driven development is somewhat controversial uh, development methodology. Some developers love it. Some hate it. MBAs always love it because it makes them feel safe. TDD falls into the same category as a few other hot-button topics. Pair programming, agile scrum, solid principles, micro... Oh, solid principles... <laughs> 
uh, microservices versus monolith, uh, FP versus uh, OOP, no squeal <laughs> versus squeal, etc. Uh, there are things that you, uh, you'll hear about often, and most developers tend to form strong opinions about them. Here's my advice. If you haven't used it in a real project, don't hate it yet. <laughs> like that. That's good. If you haven't used it yet, don't hate it. I've used TDD twice. The first time I used it, it was excellent. The second time I used it, it was awful. And what I realized is that when I really understand the problem, TDD is fine. It works. But when you don't understand the problem, TDD is god-awful. And that is like 99% of problems I take or I, I have to take on are problems I don't understand. Rarely do I get a well-understood problem. Uh, that's why it's literally impossible to hate Haskell. No one has ever tried it in production yet. Let's go. Haskell mentioned. We got a Haskell mentioned. Let's go. Let's go. Be a humble junior dev. I wasn't. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes I made early was simply assuming I knew more than I did. I uh, would push for refactors that made no sense to get away from technologies that I thought were old or bad. I wanted to rewrite perfectly stable parts of the code because I thought the new hotness was more maintainable. Me about to rewrite it in React. Perfectly fine jQuery login page. <laughs> I mean, it's... This is actually a really fair take. There was this, there is this problem of continual progress that makes people think whatever is newer is better and whatever is older is worse. Like there has never, like not only is that untrue in life, it's also untrue in programming, right? Just because something is older does not mean it's worse, right? It just doesn't mean it's worse. A cold fusion is worse, but true. Yeah, that's fine. Some things are old and bad. Totally true. But not all old things are bad. I'm not even going to read that that word. Uh, boomer take. You'll be a boomer too, so don't worry. I can't wait for your boomer days. Your boomer days are going to be awful. Because you're going to be like, back in my day, we used to have React server components. Okay, you're going to sound like an old grandma from Kit Boga stream. It's going to be great. Uh, by all means, consuming coding content online, but try to understand the reasoning behind the opinions you are hearing. Try to think about the context the speaker is coming from. Then, you, when you have the chance, try the thing out yourself before making your own bold claims. P.S. The only exception to all of this is Scrum. Scrum always sucks. You can just trust me on that one. It sucks regardless of your company, religion, political beliefs, or sexual orientation. This is the greatest statement of all time. It's an equal opportunity suckiness is Scrum. Everybody gets the chance to just suck when it comes to Scrum. This is absolutely true, 100%. 100%. This is a great article, by the way. By the way, I love Lane's reading, and so I've just really, I, I also really love this meme right here because I feel like it's a personal attack against me, and I just think this is fantastic. This is pretty much me. I am this person right here. Uh, Scrum is the worst. Uh, must confirm, Scrum sucks. Yes, I know. Scrum does actually suck. So again, hey, this was a sponsored read, but I knew Lane was going to deliver some good stuff, and he did deliver really good stuff. So hey, check out boot.dev, code Primogen if you want some percent off your first uh, payment. Uh, honestly, a really great place to learn backend development. In fact, I even plan on going through some of it, and they have a huge amount that's just for free. So I actually really like them. I really appreciate them. Yes, I do front-end master's courses. So you, you can see that there's a conflict here, and I'm even promoting someone that's not front-end master's, right? It, it, it's because I think they're a really good company. The name is the Primogen.